nice beautiful Palm Springs day. Not quite as hot today. That is what it is. Okay, got an AC not cooling. The uh, suction line's not cooled at all. The fan load is running and it's running the correct direction. But uh, so my guess is we most likely have a burned wire here. So, open it up and take a look. And I'm kind of hoping that one is, because if not, then Compressor's running, it's way hot. Looks like we're low on Freon. I'm not going to pull it because if I do, I think it'll just overheat. Good job by Freon. say that's hot. Sizzling. Alright, better get my free on, get it cooled down, or it's gonna pull. It's gonna take me a lot longer. Luckily it's still running, so that quick go. Get some ice on it real quick. And I'm just gonna go through the low side. This one I think is just a little bit low on Freon. I'm gonna give it some liquid uh, because it's so hot. Just need to cool it down quick enough. Also my can of refrigerant is getting kind of low. Anyway, we'll make sure the hot side is off. Both sides are off. Open my can of refrigerant here. Purge the line. And I should really wear gloves here, so I'm going to get some gloves on real fast. If I can, it's a lot safer. Let's prevent frostbite. Safety glasses, gloves, you know, your personal protective equipment. Okay, I'm going to flip the can upside down because I'm going to give it liquid in order to cool it down. Um, you want to use these service mats when working. Okay, straighter valve seems okay. There's our suction line. Purge it. Oh my gosh. It's like, like almost completely empty. Yikes. Okay. Let's give it some Freon. And I need to go back and get my, um, refrigerant leak detector and try to find this leak we're like zero looks like a newer compressor and 
I think uh, I think I got just enough free on here, maybe five pounds. I'll turn it off since we're giving it straight liquid. I'll meter it in. We must have a bad leak to be that low. Again, just enough refrigerant to charge this up. I've got about five pounds we on. Get it going for now and then figure out what's going on. Some cold water in the compressor. Just sizzling. There's a whole bunch of stuff in front of the closet on this one too. I'm gonna need to get them to clear the area so I can get in there. Leak test it. I think it's gonna be the evaporator coil. Oh fun fun. Guess we're getting our Virtual saturation temperature up, that's good. The leaks in the coil, we can always pump down the system and um, replace the coil so I won't lose my refrigerant charge. find that leak though. Oh boy. I don't really see anything in the condenser. It's not easy to see in there. Line's starting to get cold, so that's good. Can of Freon's starting to get empty too. All right, well, back to the drawing board to figure this out. Grab my leak detector, bubble test. how this is bouncing close to that compressor bolt. But it's not touching, so. Our line's getting nice and cold, that's good. Again, I'll have to see if I can locate the leak. Thirty-eight point nine. That's beautiful. We're almost there. Pressure psi sixty-four. I'd like to see it about sixty-eight. Somewhere in there. We're getting there. Okay. 
Normally I prefer to charge by vapor because it's a lot easier on the compressor, but because this compressor was so hot, there was no way it was gonna hang in there to take the vapor. It takes a lot longer, so. It's a capillary tube system anyway, so. Here's what it is. Get to work, get it going. I'll just try to locate my leak. Nice and cold now, that side's good. Let's see what we're sitting at here. Two degrees, we're looking good. 68 on the PSI. So that'll work for now. We can leak test it from there and go from there. All right, so now I'll follow it up and test it out. So you can see the ice right down here at the bottom. This is where uh, there was a major freon leak. Uh, in person it showed up a lot better than it actually showed up on the camera. But in person I could actually see it gassing off uh, from, from this spot. And, uh, well, I guess I'm just sort of amazed it didn't show up as well as it did. Bubble tested all the other uh, fitting leaks. That's why you see a little bit of a, a green haze on those flared connections there. Uh, but didn't find a leak anywhere else. The leak that I found was right at this ice chunk on the side of the evaporator coil. And so here it is. I'm using the bubble test, and it actually did show up uh, some bubbles when I was there in person. Again, it didn't show up super good on the video, but it showed up. It showed up super good when I was there in person. So I, I knew there was a leak there for sure. It was a bad one. Uh, I was even worried that it wasn't going to hold out long enough. Fortunately, I was able to get the company out there the same day to replace the coil and get it fixed. So it didn't turn into a an issue more. Of an issue.
Yep, so that's what it was, uh, leaking the coil there. And uh, so I'm gonna have the coil replaced. At least I got enough refrigerant now for um, the unit to run. And then we can do a pump down and replace the coil, uh, and seal it off so we don't lose our refrigerant or anything. Um, what's happening is the refrigerant is, is um, basically freezing over the hull and so it's keeping the refrigerant in. But the problem is, is once the unit shuts off, the ice is gonna melt, Freon's gonna leak out um, little by little, and then we're gonna be back to a, a no cooling. So um, having the coil replaced, uh, not too big a deal. Get it going, get a new coil in there. With the pump down, what they'll do is they'll run the system, turn off the high side here, That'll pump all the refrigerant, pull it through the suction line into the compressor, and then once it's all in the compressor, it's not going beyond this point, the liquid line, then we'll seal off the low side line. I'll seal all the refrigerant in that side, then we can open this side. And ideally, you can install a filter dryer on this side so that you can, you know, but I can have them put a filter dryer in out here. Um, that way, we're putting a new filter dryer in and, and the, with the evaporator coil. With it sealed on this side, you can't really get in there to replace it unless you recover all the refrigerant. So, I like the filter dryer to be out here. Yeah, that's just me. Anyway, at least we're running and cooling for now until I can get the coil replaced. Here we go.